All right, here we go. Factor and trinomials um, of, of AX squared plus BX plus C. This just means that A and B could be any number and C could be any number, but A cannot be one. So if A is uh, greater than one or it's, uh, it's not one, then uh, we're going to do something called factor by grouping, which is in a, a different video. So make sure you go look at the, the simplicity or the first step of factoring by, by grouping. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is see if there are any, uh, well, before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, like, share, comment, all right? So here we go. <clears throat> I want y'all to know that I really enjoy math, okay? And I want you to not necessarily enjoy it, but I definitely want you to have an understanding for it, okay? All right, so here we go. So we're going to see what the greatest common factor is if there is one, okay? So... Could it be two? Yes, for sure. Three? Yes. Uh, four? Yes. What about six? Well, if two times three is six, then no, there's no six. Okay, so let's try, let's try four. Let's see if we can uh, factor out four. And if there is still, let's see, uh, factors, Six, six, four. That should be like 16, right? And then this is 12. All right, so is there anything else that you can factor out? No, no, can't factor anything. All right, so in order to break this down, this trinomial into a binomial, we're going to multiply three times negative 12, okay? So I'm gonna write it over here and then I'm gonna erase it. So negative 12 times three, all right, is 36. So we're going to, or negative 36, we're gonna break down negative 36. We got one, 36, um, two, 18, three and 12, obviously, uh, four and nine, six and six. Our middle number is positive. Our last number is a negative, but one, but one of these, has to be negative. So the middle number is positive, so the greater number has to be positive. So we add these together to see which one gives us 16. All right, so negative two plus 18 is gonna give us 16. So we're gonna use that, we're gonna say, we're gonna use those two uh, integers to rewrite it. Three n to the second power, uh, plus 18, because I know it's a factor, like three and 18 are, are factors of each other, or sorry, three can go into 18, so that's why I'm doing that right now. Uh, n, and then minus two n, minus 12. Now you can write it anyway, but I just went ahead and uh, switched it to make it a lot easier for me to solve. So from here, I'm gonna break it down even further, right? I'm going to not forget about the four. I kind of usually like put it down here in the corner so I don't forget, and then begin to continue work so I can have more space. So I'm gonna factor out uh, three n. Hopefully it's not too small. If it is, please zoom in. So three n is our greatest common factor. What we're left with is n uh, plus six. And then because it's a negative first term, I'm going to reduce by a negative two negative two, so left with n plus six, right? And remember the greatest common factor between these two, right, is, is the n plus, n plus six. So n, so we're going to reduce the n plus six. So we end up with uh, four, because we can't forget about the four, uh, n plus six, and three n minus two. That's our answer. All right. All right. So, same same process here. We're going to factor out. Notice that the term it, it is greater than one. Oh, I'm sorry, not greater than one, but it is not one. Okay. Uh, but it is a negative. So we have to factor out the negative. So we see is it negative two? No, just negative one. So we're going to factor out negative one. So the negative one will be out here. We're left with two C squared minus 
3c minus 20, right? And so we're going to look at negative 20, the factors of negative 20, 1 times, so in the middle term is negative, so our larger number has to be negative, 2 and 10, uh, 3 and, oh, go back, right, Mr. Glenn? Remember you said that we had to multiply these two, I'm sorry. We have to multiply those two, so that's negative 40. So break down negative 40, that's gonna be one and negative 40, two and negative 20, three, no, four, negative 10, um, five and negative eight, uh, six, no, seven, no, negative eight, so you, we're gonna use this two. Can't forget about the negative one. We're going to rewrite the, equa the uh, expression or the trinomial, okay? Eight C is positive, oh yeah, it is negative. Negative eight C plus five C minus 20. So we're gonna break them down. Can't forget about the negative one. All right, so we're going to uh, factor out 2c. So 2c, we're left with c minus 4. Then remember, this was a positive 5c. So five, positive 5, that gives us c minus 4. As you can see, the greatest common factor between these two uh, factors, or sorry, these two numbers, is that right? Um, binomial and, and, and monomial, right? So you have, what I'm, I'm looking at is this, okay? To make sure that it's clear. And what they have in common is the C minus four. So that rules out and I'm left with can't forget about, I'm left with 2c plus 5, but I can't forget about the negative. So that's 2c or c minus 4. It doesn't really matter how you write it because it's a community property. 2c plus 5. Okay? All right, and that's, that's your answer. Alright? So, uh, I'm going to pause the video. Hopefully, I can cut it back together. Uh, but thanks for your time. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Bye.